Penang Hill, also known as Bukit Bendera, has long captivated visitors with its natural beauty and abundant biodiversity. But now, a wave of excitement and controversy has swept across the hill as the Penang state government makes a significant announcement. The buzz is palpable as the Penang government unveils plans for the Penang Hill Cable Car Project, promising to elevate accessibility and enhance the visitor experience on this magnificent hill. The cable car, designed to complement the existing funicular train service, holds the potential to take Penang Hill to new heights. The announcement has ignited a mix of anticipation and controversy among the community. Residents, tourists and civil society groups are all eager to voice their opinions. As anticipation grows, so does the debate surrounding the cable car project. Before we embark on the details of the ambitious Penang Hill cable car project, let's immerse ourselves in the enchanting beauty of Penang Hill itself. Rising 833 meters above sea level, this captivating hill has become a haven for millions seeking solace in nature's embrace. The Penang Hill Corporation, entrusted with its management, works tirelessly to maintain its natural integrity while providing a memorable encounter with this pristine environment. With well-maintained hiking trails, breathtaking viewpoints, and a range of recreational activities, Penang Hill has cemented its place as a must-visit destination for both locals and tourists from around the world. Now, let's delve into the details of the proposed cable car project. The cable car system aims to provide tourists with a unique vantage point, offering panoramic views of the surrounding landscape while reducing travel time. The Penang government envisions the cable car project as a complementary addition to the existing funicular train service, providing an alternative means of transportation and a breathtaking journey above the treetops. However, not everyone supports this venture. Critics argue that the cable car project could pose potential risks to the delicate ecosystem that thrives on Penang Hill. The technical aspects of the project including the alignment and placement of pylons along the hillside, carry significant weight. After all, Penang Hill is not merely a tourist attraction. It serves as the island's very own green lungs. The proposed cable car project has sparked concerns among environmental activists and the Consumer Association of Penang, who fear the potential disruption to the hill's delicate ecosystem. The association warns that a surge in the number of tourists and residents will result in a substantial rise in resource consumption and an increase in waste production. The proposed location of the cable car station, nestled between the youth park and the botanical gardens, raises additional concerns. These open parks are cherished by thousands, children, adults and seniors, who frequent them for exercise and to revel in the peacefulness of their lush surroundings. The consequences include atmospheric and noise pollution, which will reach unacceptable levels, tarnishing the serene experience of those who visit the park and gardens. Moreover, the construction of the cable car system and subsequent human activities on the hill and the station will result in significant carbon dioxide emissions, further increasing our carbon footprint. Despite the opposition, the Penang government remains determined to move forward with the cable car project pending the results of a comprehensive environmental impact assessment. They believe that the benefits of enhanced tourism and improved accessibility outweigh any potential risks. As the sun sets on this heated debate, the future of Penang Hill remains uncertain. Will the cable car project be a symbol of progress and innovation, or will it be viewed as a threat to the natural wonders that have made this hill a beloved treasure? Only time will unveil the final chapter in the story of Penang Hill. <laughs>